Hi YouTube, Tim Muckert here. In this video, we're going to install the Pulsar Text Editor on a Chromebook in 2024. The first thing we need to do is go to the Linux development environment here on the left, and we're going to click on that. And we're going to search for settings, or we'll just find our settings down here, and we'll click on that. And then we'll go along here on the left and find About Chrome OS down at the bottom. We'll click on that. If we go down toward the bottom here, we see the Linux development environment, and we can click Set Up. Then will appear a wizard that can walk us through the setup. We'll click next. It's going to give us a, a username, which I believe is based off your email. I would change this now if you want to change it. I'm going to leave it as is. They also give us a recommended disk size, and you could also go down here and choose a custom disk size. You can change the disk size for the Linux container at any point. Uh, so you could change that later on if you want. I'm going to leave both as is and click install and let that run. That's going to take a few moments. I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. I can close out my settings at this point, and I'm going to maximize this terminal, increase the font size so you can see what I'm doing. We want to make sure everything's up to date, so I'm going to type sudo apt update, and then two ampersands sudo apt upgrade, and do a dash y flag just to answer yes to any additional storage the upgrade is going to take. That's going to run on through and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, now that everything's up to date, we can close out the terminal there and we can go to our browser and we want to search for the Pulsar editor. And if we search for that, we get uh, pulsar-edit.dev. We'll click on that to go to their site and we want to go to download. So I recommend just doing the regular release. So if we go down to the regular release here, we can click on Linux and we want to download the .dev package. So I'm going to download that. Now keep in mind, they do have a package for ARM 64 Chromebooks here. I don't have one of those, but if you do have one, uh, that may work for you. Again, I don't have one, so I can't speak to that. Okay, once it's downloaded, I'm going to click Show in Folder, and I'm going to right-click and click Install with Linux. It's going to go out and retrieve some app information once it does that, I'll click Install and then OK, and I'll let that go ahead and install. Okay, after it's gone ahead and install, we can close out the uh, File Explorer and close out the browser. And then if I go back to my launcher, go back down to Linux apps and click on that, I see I have the icon for Pulsar. I'm going to right click and pin that to the shelf and then click to open. Okay, and the first time that uh, loads up, it's going to take a little bit longer than normal because it has to write some configuration files and so on. But here we go, we've got Pulsar open, and we can expand it and start working and customizing the editor as we see fit. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe, and I want to thank you for watching. Have a great day.